What's going on, friends? Guess what? It is that time where I say, you know what? I'm bored and I want to do a project. Look, we're sitting around doing all kinds of projects and stuff, you know, toys with the kids and things. But Daddy wants to do a project today. We're going to paint our Tenacious Unicorn prototype and uh, make it look all kinds of funky if I can remember and do it properly. So, uh, yeah, let's head outside and I'm going to show you guys what I do to get it done. My name's Stan and you have found the Tenacious TX Vapes channel. So this here is my workspace. Scotch Bright, the red one, sandpaper in multiple different grits. Try not to let your dog chew it up. Tack cloth, which we may or may not need. Something to protect yourself. What I did was I got a bunch of colors that are all in the same family. You wanna make sure that you kinda of keep it in the family. These are all, ah, go away. Go away. Multiple types of different paints. You'll usually have some kind of crazy interaction like with lacquers or acrylics, etc. So clear coat, it's just a matte one that I'm gonna use as kind of a intercoat clear whenever I need to get some colors sealed in. Cream of the crop, 2K clear coat with the hardener in it that's gonna protect everything. Also some blue tape, also a rag or old t-shirt. Don't mind this, it got wet in the rain. Also, I got one of these jigs right here that I'll show you guys how to use a drill. And don't forget what you're gonna vape on. Oh, the puppy! The ginger! 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 Louie! Louie! What are you doing, Lou? Lou, 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 stop chasing me! Stop chasing me! No! No! And the old man Thor. Hello, old man. You enjoying the sunlight? This thing right here is a polishing jig. Basically what you do is you put this one end inside the drill chuck and this end in the 510 and then you have a polish or you can polish easily. This piece is for if you want to put an RDA on and polish the cap of an RDA. So it's pretty cool by Vandy B. You don't ever want to run your drill into, you want to do it by hand. You want to thread it on by hand or else you could rip the threads out of the 510. That worked. Well, that right there is an easy way to brush a tube mod if you ever uh, are interested in doing that. <laughs> so you can see where this one's still polished on the top where I haven't done that. But you can see the side, how it's brushed. But the reason why we're doing this is because we're gonna lay down a base coat of paint we want to grab really good. So. so now that we've got it all brushed, we gotta do one more thing and that's washing because you want to get all the dust and everything off before you lay down the first coat of paint. I took a wire hanger and I cut off part of it, kind of get a little straightness here. I'm just gonna straighten it out a little bit like that. I don't want it to hook anything inside the mod. I just don't want it to come through the 510. Take this through the 510 like that. Actually, we're gonna do it through the bottom because if you do it through the 510, you might get paint stuck on it. So we're gonna do it through the bottom like this. Just like that. So now you have. Ta -da! Next, take some blue painter's tape and get it down inside the right here. Oh. 
this lip doesn't have any tape on it because we're going to paint that lip just like that. This lip is not all as well and just ball up a ball and shove it in there. <laughs> Here's the trick. I'm not going to tape off the threads, but what I am going to do is I'm gonna take off like a half thread like that, so that basically it gets the edges that touch together, but it doesn't get inside. And as long as you don't cake the paint on right there, it should be fine. So I'm gonna do the same thing right there. Just be careful not to shake it around too much so that they don't come unthreaded. First and foremost, you gotta shake the paint up. This is a primer mix. I would say to use a adhesion promoter or a primer by itself, but I don't want it to be too thick. So we're gonna use this as a real thin, light base coat so that the paint sticks to this and it brightens it up a bit. Change my mind on how I wanna go about this. I took all the white off and I replaced it with black. Same black, really thin coat primer. Uh, this is definitely a multi-layer project so it's probably going to take a day or two that's just how it goes with paint all right so because i'm running out of time i hit it with the heat gun uh, you should really pay attention and try to let your stuff cure properly before you put a clear coat on it but we're going to see what happens uh, i'm going to let it give it about 15 20 more minutes but i'm losing daylight quick so i want to get it cleared tonight so that i can do the color for you guys tomorrow With clear coat like this, you need to wait until the base coat completely gasses off and completely dries, cures before you apply clear coat. Um, if you don't, the paint that's wet underneath the clear will be gassing off still and get trapped underneath the clear and it'll make like a crazy reaction. It'll either make bubbling or like a fish eye kind of or even a white appearance in the clear coat. All right, so I've let the black dry long enough to uh, suit my needs. Um, like I said before, follow the directions on the can. So this is a matte finish clear that I'm just going to use to protect the black. So when I sand off the outer colors, it doesn't go into the black. It gives me that extra layer of protection. Losing sunlight, so after I clear coat it, I'm going to wait and let that gas off and basically cure for tomorrow. I'll do the color and we'll finish it up. So here we go, final coats for today. That's all for today. Gonna let that dry. It's the next day. Here we go. Check it out. Look, see that? Everything is all, uh, yeah, my lighting sucks. But this is how we gotta be. So everything is cool. If you just wanted to do a single color, stop here, uh, you're done. But what we're gonna do is now, is now we have our black base and it's been coated with a matte clear coat. What I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna put some white and the colors on it. Once I do that, I am going to remove a lot of that color so that the black comes through. The reason why we clear coated it is so that when we remove that extra color on the outside so the black comes through, we don't go into the black and accidentally take off some black. So right now I'm gonna put some white on it, just a thin layer of white, and then some pink and some yellow and see what happens. And also make sure your clear coat is nice and dry and cured before you do the next step or else you might have paints interact with each other. Do you remember we talked about a tack rag? Tack rag's really good for removing any overspray or uh, dust or anything that may have settled on it. Take your tack rag and kind of wipe it off. Make sure you got any dust or overspray off. Krylon Fusion, wipe, shake it a lot. Protection. So, one coat of white. What do you know about that tenacious color palette? Mm -hmm. Gonna hit it a little crazy like that and fill the rest out with yellow. Oh snap, son. Oh man, I hope this thing turns out the way I want it to. It's gonna be dope. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that flash. Basically, I'm gonna let it get dry enough to where I can touch it and take this yellow and pink off. All right, so don't mind the green stuff. I gotta, I gotta clean that off from all the rain we've been having. But um, check this out. Put it back together here like this. I'm very lightly touching it. I don't wanna touch it too much. This is still black, so I'm gonna set it down on that.
you can see I'm just trying to go over the high spots and you are gonna get in some of the low spots but that's what makes that really cool kind of beat up crazy look and be careful because you will make the paint sticky again I took off a little more than I wanted to but that's okay now I'm just gonna try to clean up there we go you can see the matte black coming through real nice and it's gonna be polished but the reason I use matte the uh, paint sticks to it better the top coats without having to scuff it up again q-tips for finer details I'm gonna add a little splatters. Got this fun color right here. A couple Q-tips will keep this thing from rocking. Put this away so we don't get paint on it. Take just a piece of trash paper. Get it nice and wet. Just like that. One more thing I want to try. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, but that's the fun of doing this, right? <laughs> I think it's going to look cool under a clear coat. Alright, so I got all my parts back. The weather has not been cooperating, so you guys get to deal with this crappy situation here. I already cleaned out some of the gunk inside here. Um, so we got to clean out the threads here. And the way I cleaned it out on here so that the button wouldn't slide, I used a razor blade. And then now I'm just going to clean up the rest with a little bit of our lifeblood. Mineral spirits get out of the way. I'm just gonna put it on a q-tip like this Just like this q-tip and I'm going to make sure that it's not too wet And then I'm just gonna rub it around Inside oops don't get it on the outside edges Like that just rub it around inside let it soak for a second then get a piece of paper towel and Really work it at least this is how I'm doing it. I'm gonna take the top cap. And even though I taped it off, I still wanna just make sure there's no paint inside the threads. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this from the inside. It's turning gray. Make sure you make sure there's no mineral spirits on your actual finish. You can put this in there just to kind of give it a little pressure and dry it out, pull it through like a wick and then just spin it. Probably a good idea to give it a test too, just to make sure there's no sticking. All right guys, so it took a few days to get to this. Yeah, and not all the film is fantastic quality. Uh, outside, the weather wasn't participating. I had to use a little camera, GoPro camera. And uh, yeah, you know, 
I basically just wanted to make the video showing you guys that you don't have to be scared. Uh, me fumbling through and figuring out what's going to work and what's not going to work is part of the process. It's part of the fun. You can always take the paint off and go back over it. Uh, the part that you didn't see was is the clear coat. Max 2K clear that I showed you in the beginning of the video is an automotive grade clear, automotive grade clear coat that comes in a can. The cans are expensive, so make sure you got more than one thing to clear coat uh, before you do it. But I put three coats of that on there, and the way that works is, is you take the top off, the little red cap that's inside the top, you put it on the bottom, you smack it, and it releases the hardener agent, which is the second part, inside the paint. And you shake it all up, and you spray it, and in a day, you've got uh, like a pretty kick-ass quality clear coat, actually. I wouldn't necessarily wet sand it right away. I'd give it a few days before I wet sanded it if you were going to do that. But I'm okay with it the way it is. Don't have any fisheye, really. There's a little bit of... I mean, there's not really a whole lot. The coat went on really nice. I could probably get it down to like a glass finish uh, if I wet sanded it a little bit, but not really worried about that for me, for my personal taste and usage and the you know point of this video. So black, uh, I used a matte clear so that I could put other paint on top of it and it wouldn't need to be scuffed up or anything from like this high gloss clear. So I used black base coat, matte clear. I did my pink, I ran the... Uh, mineral spirits over the top and kind of took it off until I was happy with what the pink looks like. You can do that in any kind of form or fashion. You can be a lot more tedious with it and get the lines a lot more clear. I kind of wanted it to look like trashy, kind of trash polka-y. That's not, I don't even know if that's a thing. Is that a thing? Um, and then I splattered it with the turquoise and splattered it with the yellow. And then I added that uh, other yellow by accident, which actually kind of gave it this crazy gleam, like kind of golden gleam that you can't really see on video. Yeah, you can't see like the sheen that's underneath the clear coat because of the transparent yellow that I used when I screwed up. Uh, but I'm very happy with it. This is something that you can do on a mod. And what's great about metal mods is as long as you make sure that the connection points are all clean, like the, um, the threads and everything, I showed you how to do the threads without taping it, where whenever you, you tighten it all the way down and then come back a half turn, and that'll keep your paint from sealing the seam and it'll keep all your threads clean. Um, same thing with the top cap. <clears throat> basically all I wanted to do is make a video show you guys how I did it how I kind of figured out the problems as going along uh, because I'm not a professional and you don't have to be scared of screwing up a metal mod because you can always clean it off and always redo it this is not going to be as permanent as powder coating so Palmer's powders out there he does crazy stuff like this with his powder coating and uh, he does an awesome job and that's a really really tough coat but this 2k clear with the hardener in it um, you get a nice three coats on there, and this is going to last you. In fact, I would probably bet that I could drop this, and it wouldn't really hurt it that ma that much, and I could probably sand out where it messed up the clear coat, as long as it wasn't a deep gouge. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about this coating for a long time. There you go. That's, that's me, my awesome, ridiculous taste in colors and goofiness. And uh, yeah, you don't have to be scared to screw up your mods with spray spray cans and something fun for you to do while you're on quarantine. Woo! You guys stay safe. You guys have a fantastic rest of your week, week, weekend. Wow. Just have a fantastic rest of your life. And remember... Vape on, friends.